I remember the comment on that first read with that new with the cast, which is a new cast. We made a change from uh, the pilot on uh, the Jeffersons, in which we have a mixed couple, a white husband and a black lady. And I remember Norman saying to those two actors, you must be able to kiss each other and mean it. And it was that simple. There no threshold to overcome. We knew you know, how Norman felt. That's how invested he was. So we couldn't have the two actors not be right. like this. They really had to be with each other. And I, that's a heck of a note to give. Let's go through uh, Sherman Helmsley. What do you remember about Sherman? Ex-postman from Philadelphia. He has to have been a natural talent. I don't think he had any formal training uh, to speak of. Um, but that's all I know from him, except he is pure gold. Uh, Wheezy, Miss Sanford, was, she studied. She was an actress who studied. Great comedy timing. Uh, we had Zara Cully on the first cast. She was the grandmother, or she was wow. the mother of, uh, uh, of, uh, of Sanford, her character. Marla Gibbs, of course. Oh, Marla, uh, Marla was pure gold. And it, you have to realize that writers were writing for these people, and it was, and then somebody had to hold control of it, which would be, which would be, uh, I don't know, Norman, uh, the Englishman, the English actor, uh, Paul, but no, sorry, Paul, uh, he, he was a, a great foil, because now he had to, he had to kind of like learn the black lingo with all this wonderful stilted English uh, presentation. Uh, and the sun, which changed. You had Mike Evans. Mike Evans. And David Evans. Evans. And Michael. I don't know what happened there. Um, I don't. I, I don't know if it was a matter of him just saying, okay, that's it, that's enough for me. But he was also a creative person. Uh, he had teamed up to help create all uh, um, good times. Good times, exactly. Another black, the person who with uh, Michael created that show. Uh, I, I, I don't know. All I know is that he was replaced by another actor. So that didn't filter down to me as to why, you know, why he left. Franklin Culver and Roxy Roker. Well, Roxy is one of those ultra, ultra elegant ladies, all she has to do is stand there. And Franklin looked like every East Coast advertising person you ever met in my life. I've done a couple of cruises and I've met a lot of people who are that, of that persuasion, and that was Franklin Cover. He was, it was perfect. So he, it was a good role for him, and he had fun with that. And everybody had fun with what they were doing. Now, the, with the cast being predominantly black, how is that reflected behind the scenes in terms of the creative people, um, the crew, and things of that nature? It was nothing to talk about. It wasn't... It's funny, with the kind of show that we were doing, we didn't have that position to create jobs to bring in more diverse people, or we just didn't have that many diverse people in engineering and uh, sound and, and, and the crews. This is now we're talking CBS. And when I got through, and I was told this afterwards, they said, if we can push George Sunga through the system the way we did, then we should be successful with others. And they tried it with others and then the program was abandoned. So that's unfortunate. I wish they could have continued that. So that's why, at this point, at then, we didn't have that diversity consciousness, which is 
very important. You know, our diversity consciousness in this town has not really come to light until maybe only within the last 10 years that something has really developed to move the, how important diversity is in front of as well as behind the cameras and, and training them 